Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas and in this video, we are reviewing the Kitanica Tactical Rain Shorts. These are heavy duty, high end tactical shorts, but are they worth the hype or should they be left down range? We are gonna answer just that question and by the end of this review, you will have the necessary information to decide if these are worth adding to your everyday carry or next outdoor adventure. With that being said, let's jump into this review. Before we begin, if you love gadgets gear and upgrading your everyday carry with unique accessories, please take a moment to help support the channel by dropping a like and subscribing for more content like this. At the time of this review, you can find the Titanica Tactical Rain Shorts for around $149. To some, that may be expensive for a pair of shorts. However, let's see what that money gets you and if they are worth it. These shorts are each handmade in the Kitanica shop located in Oakland, California. These shorts also come in an assortment of colors from black, blue, gray, green, khaki, cryptic camo, and of course, this here, khaki. These shorts come equipped with 10 total pockets with extra elastic and loops and D-rings in order to ensure that you don't lose your gear when you need it most. All the seams are double, if not quadruple stitched and have a total of 36 bar tacked reinforcements at high stress areas. The rain shorts provide traditional front pockets. However, they measure in a little over 12 inches tall at the highest point. This means you can easily carry a cold steel Espada XL on either side and dual wield them. There are also two rear pockets secured with Velcro that offer much deeper carry than traditional jeans. The pull tab that secures these rear pockets has a small loop, so you can get creative on how you want to store escape and evasion gear inside. Along each rear pocket is a hip pocket that is comprised of Cordura. It's also good to note that each of these side hip pockets are not the same size. When wearing the pants, the left side pocket is going to be a little bit smaller, so I think it's great for a pocket knife, a flashlight, or even a backup tourniquet. Now on that right side, it is a little bit wider and it can comfortably carry a large smartphone or any other sort of gear you might want to slip in there. Working our way down to the right side cargo pocket, it is secured with a locking YKK zipper. Inside, you'll find a small loop so you can affix anything you don't want to lose on the trail or in the city. Working away slightly to the front of this, you will see three pen tubes. I really like the integration of these pen tubes because I've been able to store an OLED i3T EOS, a through night pen light, an offensive industries Sharpie for non permissive environments, and even a hobo tactical penetrator. I've also enjoyed carrying the NTP31 pen from Nightcore because it also has an integrated glass breaker. As we work our way over to the left cargo pocket, which is one of the most interesting pockets, we're gonna pass over that locking YKK main zipper that has been quadruple stitched into these shorts. There's also a metal button securely fastened to these shorts. And if you notice right where that button connects to keep these pants up, you'll see that I had a little bit of extra material around there. I took a lighter and it easily went away and I've had no issues since. All right, now we reach the left cargo pocket, which is one of my favorite parts. Inside of the Velcro pocket is two additional pockets, one measuring three inches, the other one four inches, and also four heavy duty elastic bands. I absolutely love this idea of the elastic bands integrated inside of the pockets because when you're moving around, you're not gonna have your gear slapping into your leg or knees. Inside of this expanding pocket, there's also a larger loop. So if you wanted to secure your keys or GPS if you're hiking around, it's gonna help ensure you don't lose it when you might need it. Of course, these are rain shorts, so you can absolutely slide in some magazines in there to keep them fastened when you're running around on the range. However, what I love most is I've turned this into my personal IFAC, and if you're just new to everyday carry, that stands for an individual first aid kit. So I have stored tourniquets, chest seals, and quick clock gauze, easily and readily accessible inside of this expanding cargo pocket. Now here you can get as creative as you want. If you're going on an outdoor adventure, you might want to store some fiber light fire starters and a ferro rod, or if you're a photographer, maybe some lens cleaners, lenses and wipes, you name it, this will be adaptable to your mission. Further aiding these shorts adaptability is the seven heavy duty belt loops. Here you can see we're running a Blue Force Gear EDC Cobra belt and also a Core Essentials belt with no issues and it supports these pants very well. You'll also notice here at the three and nine o'clock position are extra D loops so you can quickly access your keys, a badge, or any sort of ID holders you might need. One of the most ingenious features on these shorts is the adjustable waistline. On both rear sides above the back pockets are two Velcro adjustment straps so you can cinch down these shorts to tighten them and take out the slack. I have found this to be awesome for many reasons. If you lose or gain weight, you can actually change the sizing of the shorts to match your waistline. This means you won't have to reinvest in another pair of shorts. These will simply grow and change with you. It's also extremely beneficial if you have to go somewhere that may prohibit you carrying the additional waistline defensive gear, you can simply tighten down the shorts to account for that missing space. These shorts are extremely resilient from the reinforced stitching to the fabric material itself. I feel I could literally hang off of these. Now let's talk about sizing. Personally, I think these shorts run very true to size. 
Normally with 511 and LAPG gear, I run a 36. However, with these, I ran a 38 because I knew I'd be able to cinch down the waistline if needed. My recommendation is to get one size bigger just because it's easier to take out room than it is to create it. These shorts have served me well in all aspects of everyday carry and outdoor adventure. However, while wearing them, there are a couple of enhancements I would make. First off, the fabric is not very stretchy. So a couple of times while these pants were loaded out with gear and I was hopping into the car, they got a little tight while my leg went above 90 degrees. So I simply hiked them up a little bit more along the hip line and I had more movement after that. Again, this was easily fixed by making sure they were seated properly on my hips for added mobility. Also when walking around, these shorts are not super, super quiet. It does make a little bit of noise, especially when grazing against the fabric. So it's gonna be unlikely you'll be sneaking up on anyone. And also on that same note, they do look pretty tactical. So if there is that, you're probably not gonna go unnoticed as a gray man. Again, the trade-off on that is the ultra durable materials and they're bomb proof, so who cares? I know the left-handed market is quite small. However, I would love to see a left-handed ordering option on their website, and I would easily wait two to four weeks for a custom left-handed pair, so that way it would work with me a little bit more seamlessly. Ultimately, I feel these shorts are a fantastic investment because if you think about it, you're gonna own these shorts for a minimum of five years, and when you divide the cost per year, it comes out to only $30. How many times have we burned through other jeans, shorts, and pants with pocket clips from knives or your flashlight sticking out because it's rubbing against it? You will not have that issue with these Kitanica shorts. Although the initial cost is high, these are a buy once, cry once deal, and once you get one pair, you will certainly want another one. These absolutely get the Tactical Tavern seal of approval because they are versatile, breathable, and can load out so much gear, they are a joy to wear. I highly recommend these shorts to anyone interested in everyday carry, outdoor adventure, or personal security work. These shorts will have you covered for your next adventure. Let me know in the comment section down below, are you a fan of Kitanica or is this your first time hearing about them? Also, what other clothing and gear accessories would you love to see reviewed here on the channel? If you enjoyed this review and you found value from it, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos coming every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, and some fun videos you won't find here. With that being said, thank you again for watching. My name is Tomas Salas. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical. Oh.